and uh, it's quite a ceremony. Washing your clothes, you can, uh, you can take it down the laundrette, that's one way, you get a bag, th usually three months worth of washing into a huge bag, and drag it down the laundrette. Wearing clothes that should be in the bag, really, eh? <laughs> that's, that's what you wear to the laundrette, that's why you've gone to the laundrette, because you've got nothing left. You're wearing dressing gowns to work and stuff like that. So, and then you throw it in the wash, and you've got big machines down the, the laundrette, huge machines with big porthole windows, and you, and you shove it all in. Never separate out of the laundrette. Shove it all in. <laughs> and you've got one choice, bizarre wash. That's what you want. <laughs> and you always have to sacrifice a few socks and a pair of pants to the god of laundrette, who <laughs> lives at the back of the machines with chopsticks. Oh, lovely, yes. <laughs> and a sock, lovely, a bit of fabric softener. Yeah, there it goes. And you take your washing out, shove it into a tumble dryer, and the tumble dryer glues it together with static electricity. <laughs> so that you get the washing out, put it on your head, and walk out. <laughs> Next day, you put on a pair of socks, and the rest of the washing says, We're coming too, we're coming. What's <laughs> wearing these? No, static. <laughs> All day, you're trying to chat someone up. Yeah, no, I've been there. You piss off. <laughs> so I don't know whose it is. It's uh, stray, stray washing. <laughs> Yeah. Um, look, fabric's off my god. <laughs> or you can wash your clothes at home. And at home, in people's flats and houses, they have a, a machine with a huge dial with all the letters of the alphabet on it. And no instructions. <laughs> You've just got to guess. You say, well, I'll have an H wash. We're on an H wash. That sounds fun. And you stuff it all in. And uh, you invariably get the stuff going and a pair of socks come in. Sorry, we're late. Sorry. <laughs> in the dust, the dust at the back where you left us. Oh, has the programme started? Oh, excellent. <laughs> it's done. And then you let the socks back into the washing and the socks go in. Excuse me, sorry, pardon me. Sorry. <laughs> We're supposed to be it. We've got tickets. Look. <laughs> or you do a white clothing wash. You say, I will wash all my white clothes. And you shove all your whites down in a big pile and you put some clothes in there which are almost white, which you shove in. <laughs> and then you take, no, and you take them out and put them to one side. And... Think, Actually, that'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, I oh, no, I've watched it a few times now. And you, for a couple of days, you just go backwards and forwards. And then you shove it all in. And uh, the rest of the deeper coloured clothes says, Oh, he's doing a white wash first. That pisses me off. <laughs> okay, blue underpants, you will infiltrate white wash. <laughs> you are our best undercover clothing. We've done you some forged papers. You will be disguised as a white handkerchief, okay? <laughs> These have been done up by Donald Pleasant, so it should be good. I believe you've been practicing a white handkerchief accent. Yes, I have, yes, I have. Very good. Now off you go. Blue handprints goes up. Oh, Sneaks inside the whitewash, usually inside um, a shirt. Shirts are a bit dopey, aren't they? Uh, 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 uh. All gets in and white wash goes in and as soon as the, the clothing starts going around the wash, blue underpants comes up the window and goes, Hello! <laughs> Hello! Blue pants here! Blue pants in the white wash! Get the blue pants out! In, in emergency break glass! Smash glass with axe! The blue pants go, I'm draining! I'm draining! <laughs> and if all your clothes came out of vibrant blue, it would be fine, wouldn't it? But your clothes tend to come out of colour that's called pants left in wash. 